Hey guys, so I did not make a proper introduction to this video and this video is all over the place. There's like missing clips. There's like cut off clips. It's just terrible. So I'm coming here to give you guys a heads up. But where are you going to start right now? I don't know. I haven't even started editing this yet. But wherever you start, just know it's not going to be from the beginning. And it's all over the place as usual. But just a heads up. So All right, y'all, so right now I'm at a little parking garage. Um, I went to the dealership and everything just to, um, you know, do whatever I gotta do. But I'm at the parking garage now and I'm doing, just checking out the car. It let us test drive it, so. So we making sure everything looks good and then we'll probably head back and see how everything's gonna go down. Okay, uh, my head's starting to hurt. And I'm getting kind of ready to go. But I'm recording on my phone right now because I ain't want to bring my camera in. Yeah, bro, can you hear me? But we're talking to the bank and everybody right now. Um, yeah, I'm so tired. What time is it? Shit, I'm ready to go to my bed. My head hurt. And I need like an ibuprofen. I didn't even go to sleep. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, we're talking to the bank right now. So hopefully everything goes well you know this that which it will so now we're just waiting and then we might have our little baby i don't know no name yet so don't ask me no name dirt neck ugly shitting me oh uh, so i'll talk to you guys with a new update when i get an update <sighs> Yeah, when I say I'm so annoyed right now, I'm just so annoyed and I'm really not in the mood. I probably should be happy right now, but I'm really not even happy. I'm just annoyed and I'm just like, uh, I don't even, uh, I can't. But I don't even know if I made a good introduction for today. So let me do it. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm not gonna say welcome back to my channel because we already started recording this video. This is just a continuation of the video, so we're gonna continue it right now. But I don't even remember what was last seen. But I'm getting a car. Today is the pickup day, the little final things. It just kept getting postponed because these snowstorms and this and that, so I'm fed up with that too. Like all that snow outside, unnecessary unnecessary <sighs> but that's what i'm doing right now um y'all probably like oh my gosh you should be happy i wish i would not know i'm just fed up i really am but that's what i'm doing right now it is like it's 2 12 i have to go get my sister because i can't drive back two cars at one time so I'm gonna go get my sister and then we're gonna take care of all the extra stuff. And then, you know, bada bing, bada boom, I'm done. Hopefully I'm done in a timely manner because you know when you go there, you just be there all day. And the last thing I need to do is be there all day. I have homework to do that I should have finished yesterday. And now I gotta quit. It's just too much and I missed class today, y'all. Uh, you know what? I can't. But I'm about to get to it. Right now, I just gotta get dressed. I'm not even in the mood to like put on nothing. You know? You know everybody like going to get their first car. Like at the dealership, they wanna seem like professional. This snap girl, I, I don't feel like throwing on some sweatpants. I just, I don't, I don't really care right now. Like, the way I'm feeling, it's, it's surely gonna show. Um, yeah. I promise I'm not this moody all the time, y'all. If y'all just tuning in, please, I'm sorry. Y'all just caught me on a bad day. But don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. But let's get into it. I'm about to find me something to wear real quick. I'm just throw on nothing too serious. <sighs> and then I'm going to head out. So I'm going to go do that. And I'm going to see y'all 
real quick in like 15 minutes but for y'all it's really gonna be like so okay y'all so i'm finished getting ready um I don't remember. I'm in class right now and my Wi-Fi keep cutting up like I don't know when did this get in my bag? I don't know what's going on, but it just keep cutting up. So I'm just packing my bag and yeah, we finna get into it. Um I'm about to head out because like I told you, I'm not trying to be there all day. Hold on. I'm not trying to be there all day. Oh, I got to join class on my phone because I'm not about to be. Well, I don't even need no bag for real. I don't even need no bag. I don't really need a bag. Mm -hmm, at all. Let me give y'all a little fit check. Here though. Bruh, stop playing. Stop playing. All right, so I got one. This sweater, you know. Link will be in the bio. Um, just my trench coat. I know I'll be rocking my trench coats or whatever. I just got some black cargoes and then I put on my shattered blackboards. I'm looking kind of crazy right now like this. I don't even really like this fit right now, but I just do something on because I gotta hurry up and get out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. All right guys, so I just headed out. Um, I'm not gonna vlog much when I'm right here in the car when I'm in the car because I'm on class and my sister is here on class as well And I just don't feel like it. So I'm gonna see y'all I Don't even know the next destination, but I'll see you guys when I see you guys So y'all be here. I can't really talk much because you know, we feeling out. Why are these young so close? Hold on Back up dirt net um, That's better anyways, we in here filling out paperwork um right now we're about to finish up and then we should be on our way so i don't want to vlog too much because these caucasians watching me so i gotta go okay guys so as you can see i'm currently in my car right now but i'm about to head to like a little like parking lot so that i can give you guys a car tour but while i'm driving there i really just wanted to talk to y'all about all the missing clips because legit when i was editing the first part it was literally like three clips and it was nothing like it was really nothing exciting so i thought i'd just come on here let you guys know what happened and then we can just get into this car tour um so to start i'm pretty sure yo i really yo thinking about it now i did it was really nothing on there so it's like i can't even I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, this is the worst one yet. I don't even think I shouldn't even post this. This is terrible. This is terrible, for real. But, um, where was I about to go? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, long story short, you know, I did what I had to do. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that we were like, um, you know, talking to the banks and everything. So, of course, I got approved. Uh, but it took me like over a week and a week and a half just to get the car due to the fact that it was many snowstorms. Um, well, it wasn't many. It was probably like two. But Dumb Junks was crazy and had the roads and everything blocked up. And you know, they got to like dig out the car dealerships and all that. So they, it was just a whole lot going on. So that's why it really took me so long to finish this video. I mean, not like y'all really knew because y'all only gonna be like, yeah, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But, yeah, it took so long, but then I finally got it, and then I'm, the clip of me, I don't know if I'm gonna put that clip in there, because I look kind of ugly, but the clip of me, um... At the dealership like finishing up the paperwork and stuff um yeah i don't even know what i was saying that for but and i just really wanted to point out the fact that i know i'll be watching some of these videos and people be like um people be like oh this video isn't to brag or anything this and that 
I'm not bragging, but shit, this is my money. This is my hard-earned money. This is my time going into this vehicle. So, baby, I'm gonna make sure I show the world. Hurry. Like, this ain't no little, 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 little something. This is that big joint. Okay, this is that grown thing. <laughs> I'm gonna see y'all when we get to this lot, and then we will continue with a car tour. Okay guys, so I just have made it to a parking lot to where I can show you guys the car. Um, just a little disclaimer, my car is kind of dirty. Um, it is snowing, it is like yucky out here, so nobody's car is really clean. But you know, I just wanna let you guys know. Um, so y'all don't be trying to come for me in the comments. But I'm just gonna give you guys an overview of the car. We have 17 inch rims. Here's the back. And then the other side. Here we have the gas pump thing. Um, and it's the car is off right now and it's locked so that won't open so you don't got nobody. Baby mama trying to put like no rice and chicken in your gas tank or pouring no sugar in here. So, you know, that's really great. And then when you hit unlock, it'll just open up and it is capless. So I think that's pretty dope. And then when you lock it back, it won't open. And then here's the other side. So, yeah, that's pretty much the outside. Before I go in, I do want to show you guys this one feature that I do love a lot. And I really, really use it like um, on a daily, which is the remote start. Um, so this is the key, basically. Um, so here's a lock, unlock, remote, start, and then the trunk button. So I'm just going to double click the lock button and then hold down that circular thing. To do remote start the lights will blink the car will start so now the car is going to be warming up and yeah so as we get over here the car is still off but it's on um so it's still locked so you ain't gonna have nobody trying to come in here trying to snatch up your brand new car that you just got so that's great but when i come over to the door all I have to do to unlock it is put my hand in there and then it'll unlock. To lock it back, I'll just hit the button. So first, when we look to the left, we just have our door, which has our window controls. The two front are auto and the back are just, you know, standard. Um, here's the window lock, the unlock and lock button, and then here's the mirrors, the mirror adjustments. Um, it's a decent amount of this not even glove box you know that space and then here we have the trunk opener and then the hood opener there as well on this side we have our traction control button which is pretty much like if your wheels aren't getting enough traction on one side then it'll do this and that and like steer it back I don't know it's automatically on and to turn it off you would just hold it down for three seconds and it'll let you know that it's off and then you know turn it back on hold it down so it's nothing that you can mistakenly push and then just go driving crazy um so that is a great safety feature okay guys so when you first come you have the steering wheel and then the car is still off but it's warming up so that so you won't really see all the features and things up there um but i'm just gonna get into the wheel first so the only thing i really don't like about this car y'all hear that Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I need me something like huh not no eh. So I mean that's something I'm gonna have to deal with, but I just dislike it. Um so coming on to the left side we do have um our phone controls, call, hang up, um accept call, hang up call, and then Surrey. Here we have buttons to navigate um, back and forth through songs or if you're doing something up there. And then here we have the up and down button. I'll demonstrate this more when the car is on so that y'all can actually see the full effect. Um, and as well as that button. Um, on the right side we have our cruise controls um, and that's pretty much it. Right here we have our right blinker, left blinker. And then our lights, so I keep it on auto. And then this one does have fog lights, um, but not all of the Honda Civics come with fog lights. Um, 
you only get fog lights on the EXT and above, and this is an EXT. The T stands for turbo. JT. Um, and then here we just have our windshield wiper controls, etc. So now let's turn the car on so y'all can get the full effect of everything that it's given. So it is a push to start. And at nighttime you can see it better, but the button will actually um glow white um when you know you're just sitting in the car. But when you put it on remote start, I have to do is just push it in so it'll ignite red. Um going back to the wheel. This button is the volume button, so you can go up and down with it, as well as sliding up for faster, you know. You know, if you wanna bump real quick and you can't really click, 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 click too quick, you gotta slide. So that's pretty dope. And then this button, you can change what you want to see up there. So I usually keep it on the gas, just so I know how much gas I have left in my car. Um, you have this which like shows you like the acceleration when you're either in sport or just driving regular Here we have the maintenance of the car oil life um, And if anything's running low, it'll pop up on there. So it's nothing you have to check constantly um, Here's the music the phone miles per hour to kilometers or kilometers one of those um I'm not sure what that is. I think that changes the front. Oh, yeah. It's, it tells you your la <laughs> your average speed and then, like, your driving time or whatever. Um, and then here you'll just see your messages. But as I mentioned before, I just keep it on my um, gas. On the left, we see... I don't even know what that is. I know it just got to be in the middle. Can't be too cold. Can't be too hot. And then on the right, we have our gas. Um, this car is really great on gas. Um, so that's a plus before this I had a BMW x5 and that junk like ate gas like you wouldn't even know and it was like 50 plus dollars just to fill up the tank so that's one thing I really hated about that car like $50 every week eat, eat, eat. a glass eating up that gas but this car that really comes in clutch because I barely have to put gas in it um I think the last time I filled it up was like a week or two ago but before I continue let me moisturize my lips because I don't feel like be looking them up in here so hold on. okay much better so now I'm just gonna go over to this um, so here's like the entertainment part of the car so it does have like a touchscreen um, thing so you can aim really much over there, but I mainly stay right there. I'm going to have on and off auto to get you the home. Once again, the volume button, which is the same. You can slide up and down there, or you can tap. And then it menu, and then back. As well, up here, you have a brightness button. You'll just click it. Three settings, off, medium, high. Um, you know, audio for your music. If your phone is connected to Bluetooth information settings um so you know and as you see right there it say apple carplay so that's basically what my car stay on um just be ooh, chow hold on get me out of here stop playing oh my gosh yeah almost saw the addy um i'm just keeping on there um but you can see it basically mirrors your phone messages will pop up here your calls you know, you got your whole music playlist, everything up here. So that's pretty dope. Okay, y'all can see it from this view. So basically, like, as I mentioned, phone music and then maps, messages, settings, etc. I don't know why I got WhatsApp and Zoom up there because ain't nobody got time for all of that. But I really like this feature and this is basically what my car stays on. Um, coming down here, I am on class, so just disregard that. I have, it's like a little cubby right here where I just keep some receipts. I got to throw those out actually. Um, and then a little cord thing. So that leads to down here to where I can connect it right here for my Apple CarPlay and then an extra one for my guest. And then just got another receipt down there. Um, and then also a little cubby right there. So I feel like this car does have a lot of space. space. It's very spacious for you to like, you know, put whatever you need, some extras, you know, You'll never run out of space to put something somewhere. 
Um, but coming down here, I forgot what this is called, you know, the sh shift, the gear shift, I think. Um, it has that. I'm pretty sure all the um, models of the Honda Civic come with sport mode, but this is EXT. So basically what it does is just has the horsepower higher, making the car go faster, quicker, etc., etc. Um so here is my brake hold button. I really don't think that does anything because I was driving one day and I pushed it by accident. Um so nothing happened. So I'm just going to not touch that, but I know this is like the parking brake assist. So basically, say you're at like a red light and you're in a drive, your foot getting tired, you'll just lift this up. And then it'll go and brake for you. And it'll say brake right there so that you know that your car is in brake. And then turn it off. You'll put your foot back on the brake and then push it in. And then, you know. Here's econ button. It's basically what my car stays on. And when it's on, you'll see a little green leaf right there. This basically helps you save gas. And, yeah, it helps you save gas. There we go. Coming right here, we have our glove box or whatever not glove box that's not no glove box we got this thing i forgot what it's called um here's my little cup holder this slides back and forth and then it's a ooh, child that's dirty stop but it has another glove i said glove cup holder down there as well as a usb um so this slides and it also comes in and out so ooh, look 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 jay's on stop playing all right, and then right here, we have like a little coin holder, holder, which also slides back and forth and it can come out. And then I just keep my little car mask right here, but it has a lot of space in here. And then it just has a little extra cubby right there. Um, so that's pretty dope. Coming to this side, we have the glove box, the real glove box. And this has got some paperwork in here and like, you know, that book stuff. Um, and then here's the back seat. It's looking pretty good, pretty good. And then the middle does come down and it has cup holders, so that's pretty cool. So then we have coming towards the end, we have our sunroof, and you the controls are right here. So if you want a nice tilt, you just push it in, then you'll get you a tilt, and then to close it, you'll just push it, ooh, push it forward, and then to open it. Push it all the way back and it'll automatically open and then to close it push it to the front um these are like the lights for the door oh y'all can't even see these are for like the lights on the door if you want like the lights to be on when you open the door etc and then you know lights right here we got our little mirror with the little lamp bulb or whatever it's called the car was off or locked there would be a sensor and then it'll unlock under here but since the car is on and running it'll just open up um here are some levers that you just pull and then you can push the front those the back seats down and under here they do it does come with a spare tire as well as a funnel for your gas um if you don't really want to just stick it in there okay guys so that's basically the end of this car tour i think i touched upon everything i have like a really short term like i have short memory Look at me, I can't even speak. But I'm just looking around to make sure I touch upon everything because I will really forget like a whole part of this car. But I'm pretty sure I touched upon everything. Um, absolutely love this car. Um, this, I'm not gonna say this is my first official car, but you know I'm gonna title it buying my first car because I'm buying it myself. But this is kind of like my second car. But I absolutely love the car. It's gonna take me places and me and my baby gonna go. Oh but that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do all that good stuff. Follow me on my socials down below and turn on that bell so you know when I post a new video. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Period. See y'all.